Hello and welcome to Thaik 18. I am Ahmad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about how to get maximum sales date in a month or a year whatever the period we have selected using DAX. So for this first of all you need to go and see my previous video what I have calculated as how to get the maximum sales in a day of a month then only you can easily understand understand how this actually works so here if you look at this one and if you have already seen that video you may wonder about that video has a very small calculation and this has a big one yeah because we need to get the maximum date so it's a different calculations but don't need to worry about that it's an easy way i will tell you step by step here so here even though this is a 10 lines of dax code but if you want to understand DAX, you need to go to the deep inside to this one. Like here, if you see this one, uh, we need to go to the least DAX, which is the most inside DAX. So here in our case, the summarize is the last DAX, which we are using it here. So if you consider this here, the summarize and it ends at this line. So basically what I'm doing it here, I'm using a summarize and then using a table name and the column name which I am using it here at the day level and after that I am giving it a name maximum sales virtual column so that's why I am giving it giving it name here as VC which is a virtual column and sum of sales amount so basically what this will do is this will actually create a table here virtually in the tax which covers like 1 1 2022 and the sales is like 5000 this is what we have used on a previous example and this is a kind of uh, we need to use as here is 1 uh, 2 2022 and this is a kind of 800 and here I am using at 1 3 2022 as 300 as an example. So this is how it will actually generate a table here. Now after that, what I'm using it here as a top end. So top end, so basically what it does is it will just asking it how many values I need to return. So I'm asking this to return only one value and after that I need to pass a table. So the table is actually this table which I have just created here. This is how it will work inside to the tags. So this I'm going to pass this table. And after that, I'm going to refer which column do we need here. If I go back to this Power BI, and clicking on the top end here it's asking for the n value which is one and the table i'm using it this one and after that it is asking us to pass the order by expression so i'm asking this to sort this by this sales amount so if you go back to this example here in this case the sales amount is 5800 300 even though luckily we have this on a proper sequence even though if you don't have a sequence of the sales but as you are sorting this by this virtual column, right? So this will actually gives me value of this particular column, this particular row. So which is 11 2022 and this is like 5000 value here. So here in our example, I'm going to get this as 5000, right? So now after that, I'm using it here as a max X. And after that, I need to pass the table, which is a top end table and after that i am using this date here so now you may wonder about even though we have used the top n and why again we are using it here as a max x the reason is because this 5000 says it may be possible that it can happen at the two or three or multiple different dates on a particular year if you are looking it for the complete year right so if for an example on 1 1 2022 we also have 5000 as a says and also on 2 of April 2022, we also have 5000. So as we are just sorting this by this one, this is actually giving us the value of these two value, which is the 5000 in the two of them. And out of these two, we want this first record and this is to be sort by the date. So we will going to get this value on the max X here. And before to that, we are filtering this value if it is blank of this sales then it is blank so we want this calculation to happen only if the sales on the day is available 
if it is not then it's going to skip that day for the calculation so we are now let's go back to power bi to see that information let's click on this calculation again so if i select max x here it is asking for the table and the table is yes one and the expression i need this here for is the date okay so now i am going to add instead of this column i'm going to add this column let me delete this column and add this one okay so here i am saying this this is the sales on the 3rd of january if i just click on the month again here and shift click on the sales amount so this is basically 92000 was highest sale and which is actually on the 3rd of january 2007 and that is how it is calculating here 3rd of january for february if i scroll down it's also the 3rd of february it's also 3rd of february but for march it is showing as 15th of march if i scroll down here it also says 15th of march is the highest sales what we have here and if i scroll down to april which is as first not 21st of april this value and here also we are getting as 21st of april 2007 so this is actually by month now if you want to consider the same thing by year then what so deleting this measure here and adding this measure so here in our example on 2007 the whole year on 21st of april is the highest sale for 2008 is 29 december is the highest sales so to cross verify that let me click on the year column here and also the shift click on the sales amount on 2007 it says 126 is on 21st of april yeah that is what it is showing up here that's correct and on 2008 it is showing as 29th of december so if you just scroll down here further because this has a daily level information so i need to scroll down on 2008 is 29th of december which is this value and this is 29th of december which is this value here that's really amazing so this is how you can able to get your value of the max sales date on a particular month or a year or the period whatever you are selecting it here. If you like this video just click on the big thumbs up button and also subscribe to this channel if you have not yet and also share this video to others.